If it's a one hopper to first, I think Guzak should go to the plate. If it's a two hopper or more, just step on the bag and look at the runner rounding third base. Always be thinking, always think about when the ball is going to be coming to you. As Melcher lines that one down the right field line and it is going to be a fair ball. Two runs are going to come in to score and Melcher is going to round second and he's digging for third and Gallo is just going to jog this one into the infield and that is a two run triple for Melcher as the Germantown Warhawks take a two nothing lead. They are forcing Christian to bring one right down the middle on him. As he does and he grounds to short as Zabel throws on and it is scooped up by Guzak at first base. So two outs, but the run does come in to score and it is now three to nothing. Have you seen the video where they had um, Jenny Finch throw fast pitch softballs to Barry Bonds? Yeah, and he couldn't hit it. He couldn't hit it either. He couldn't hit it. So <laughs> they're both difficult. As that ball is singled into left field by Conrad, it's going to come in one as the runners all move up one spot and is now four to nothing. Here's the most lame dad joke for you. Where do baseball players like to shop? Where at? At the Gap. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's what my dad always told me. He's like, you're gonna, where we shop for clothes, we're going to go to the Gap and split it. As we get the tag on the runner between second and third, and then just kind of a throwaway there. I don't think he got him. Runner's still at third. Base he is still full. Yeah. He did miss him with the tag. The third baseman over there is Zach Christian. He tried to tag out Melcher going from second to third and just missed him. And all the runners are safe. Another run scores. It's 5 nothing. Base is still loaded. You'd like your shortstop in that spot as that's a fly ball. That's Larson camped under. He secures the catch, and it is tried to be cut by Griglione, and he's unable to handle it. Another run scores. We got runners at the corners now, six to nothing. And the runner was able to get to third regardless. Luckily, it just barely went off the glove, so the runner couldn't go from first to second. That one is also lined into center by Ludke. One run scores. And the second run is going to be tagged. Oh, safe. Safe. No slide, but unable to make the tag is the catcher, Moran. Guzak takes a close one. 2-0 and oh, in a great position to drive in two runs for the Cougars. Try to get him here. If you miss, just put him on. I personally would put him on if it gets to 3-0. and oh. Guzak lines that one up the middle. Christian is going to score, and they are going to hold Larson at third. Probably the right choice. Runners at the corner. Yeah, they'd be much willing to just take a 6-3 to three ground out for the second out and give up that run than to let up a big double or something here. Worst thing you could do here, too, is to walk him. Let him put into play. As Daniger lines that one into left field for an RBI single, and it is now 8-2. to two. And so they actually had to stop the game at like the 23rd inning or whatever. And so my dad went to the, the next day against the Brewers. Nice that hit. one's lined into left field by Ranky. One run's going to score. Murkowski is going to stop at third as that is a double for Ranky, and it is now 9-2. to two. First base open. If you get, if you get behind 3-0, just walk them. That would be my opinion on the matter. As Melcher gets into that one as well, into right center field. Murkowski's going to score, and they're going to hold Ranky at second for... Oh, now he's running. <laughs> I, looked that. like Coach was trying to keep him at third, and then he realized he wasn't going to take away a triple from his buddy, and he scurries home. And to not take away from the Warhawks offense, this is a hot team. They're on a three-game winning streak. They're, they won 16-6 to in their last game. So another case of just running into a hot team is another one is laced into the outfield. And that's going to be a double, and they're going to hold the runner at third. So if a coach ever tells the catcher, just move the glove back in. No, no, no. you got to move the knee and place the ball. Good umpires usually don't call it a strike when they see the glove move. Svebig does put that one in play to Boric. 
sticks with it and flips it on to Gallo at shortstop for the out. Two outs now, a good play to stick with that one. Why I'm against the mercy rule, nobody is asking the fans to stay. If you want to go home, go home. I might go home. If it was 17-2 to two Yankees, I'm probably going home. But you don't have to stay, so why should we have to have the mercy rule? Because that's a ball and a wild pitch and a run scored for uh, Germantown to make it 14-2, to 15-2. I do like the stat batters batting average with runners in scoring position. Some fan graphs, people say it's a little overrated, but that's kind of it at bat that you want to see on an 0-1 count dri driving into the outfield. Things of uh, good things to come for Lake Zurich. As Daniger is jammed on that one, but is able to outrun the ground ball in the infield as he heads to second base on the overthrow. The run scores, runners at second and third. There's a famous scene where um, Roger Dorn just refuses to get in, the, in front of a ball at third base because he's afraid he's going to get hit in the eye. And um, the manager's like, come on, Dorn, get in front of the ball. None of this Ole nonsense. He's like ole, ole it with the glove. It's so great. As that ball's drilled into right field, and it is going to get to the wall for A.J. Melcher, and that is going to be another triple. They're waving him on. Oh, the ball is stuck underneath the fence. That technically should be a ground rule double, but I think we're going to let him have the long ball. I don't know. We'll see. So the rule is you got to put your hands up right away. If you if you put your hand in there to play it, it's live. It's also up to the base umpire's discretion if you did that on purpose to try to avoid the homer. Look, it's 14-year-old baseball, American family field. That base umpire ain't going to give you that ground rule double. He's going to let you play it. God, I feel old. That song for Miley Cyrus was from like 2009. I remember dancing to that song in gym class in middle school. Oh yeah, Party in the USA. Is that singled into center field for an RBI by Zabel. His first hit of the game, so he does not go over with that single. You know, we saw an inside the park homer. If you get it in the right gap or you get it right down the line and it takes a weird ricochet off the padding, you never know. As that ball skied, short stops out there to get it and catches it for the third out. And that will be the end of our game at American Family Field as the Warhawks defeat the Cougars 16 to four.